Hello everyone, welcome back to our second video in which we're going to cover our second subtopic that is scalar and vector. So here are learning objectives that we need to achieve. The first one is to define scalar and vector. Second, state the physical meaning of dot or scalar product. And the last one is to state the physical meaning of cross or vector product. Okay, let's talk about scalar quantity first. What is scalar quantities? So scalar quantities are quantities with magnitude only. So here are a few examples of scalar quantities. The first one is mass. Second one, pressure, speed, distance, work, current, temperature, and others. However, it's not enough to just learn about scalar quantity. As in our daily life, we need to know the direction. So let's move to vector quantities. So vector quantities are quantities which have both magnitude and direction. So let's look at a few examples of vector quantities. So the first one is displacement, velocity, force, momentum, and many other vector quantity. So look at the figure. So here we can see that we have one meter as the magnitude and waist as the direction of the motion. And we have helicopter here in which it has 1000 meter per second which refer to the magnitude and east to the direction. Okay, let's move to scalar or dot product. So what is scalar or dot product? So scalar or dot product can be defined as vector A dot vector B. So how to calculate the magnitude is shown in the video. A dot B equal to modulus A times modulus B cos theta. Okay, so what does modulus A and B mean? And what is the theta referred to? So modulus A refer to magnitude of vector A and modulus B refer to magnitude of vector B and theta is the angle between A and B. So the result of scalar product of two vectors is known as scalar quantity. Work done is one of the example of scalar product. Okay. Okay, next we move to vector or cross product. Vector or cross product will produce a third vector, which is perpendicular to both of the original vectors. So how to calculate the magnitude of the cross product? So vector A cross vector B equal to modulus A multiply with modulus B sine theta. Okay. Theta also refer to the angle between B and A. And next, how to find the direction of the new vector? So the direction of the new vector is the normal to the plane that contain both vector A and B. There are one method that we can use to find the direction that is by right hand rules. Okay, let's apply our right hand rule based on the figure below. In order to find the cross product, Place the two vectors so their tails are at the same point. Align your right hand along the first vector A, such that the base of your palm is at the tail of the vector, and your fingertips are pointing toward the head. Then curl your fingers via the small angle towards the second vector B. Your thumb will point upward, indicate the direction of the new vector produced. Okay, so have a try. See you in the next video.